Hello and welcome to Seat Open at Auto Club. We've got our OSR setup as usual. And uh, I've already done a seat nice fixed race push, push, push. just in my own time. I even recorded it just uh, in case it was a really good race, but it was actually kind of boring. So I figure we don't need a seat open and seat fixed race. It was kind of just meant to be a spur of the moment like. Uh, see how it drives this week kind of race and uh, I did pretty well in it I think I got third but uh, we'll see how well it translates to the open setup seems like the uh, open setups a little bit looser maybe you can kind of do a cut down line green 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 okay um, you a little easier I guess it's hard to say. But uh, it is pretty loose off the start here, so I think I'm going to just uh, get a solid lap in the first lap. Just run the high side or something. And then the second lap, maybe I'll try to do, uh, try to get down the track a little bit and uh, see if we can get some more time out of it. But, uh, what I don't want is to. Uh, mess up both my laps by trying too much. So not the fastest first lap here, but at least it'll be a good base point. Hmm, you had to saw the wheel a little bit. It was really on edge. I scrubbed some time off doing that, but the leader has just done forty point nine. Mm -hmm. I'll be faster than the first lap. Not the fastest it could have been though. The leader has just done a forty point eight. Forty point nine. It's over. Alright, that'll bring us to fit so far. And not too far off. I'm very okay with that. Um, like I said, I just didn't want to mess up my qualifying time, so I could have been more aggressive with it. It's, uh, you know, I just want to take it easy. I also could have put okay, more tape on it. I think you can get away with 100% tape in qualifying. But whenever I was practicing, the extra speed was actually making it even harder to hold on to it. <laughs> so uh, I just went with uh, 85 which I'm going to now bump down to what it had, which is 64. Hopefully that'll be just fine. Another thing I could have done is uh, change my steering ratio down to 12 or 14 or something to get a little bit more of a, more of a response and be able to fight the looseness a little bit more. But I'd rather just get used to how 16 to 1 feels since that's what I'm going to be doing in the race. And uh, we got plenty of time, so I don't need to qualify first or anything. Holy cow, 40.5. All right. <laughs> well, they got uh, they get to be the number one truck for a reason. Got a full 31 truck field today. So uh, hopefully, guys, will keep it clean, but Your more likely than better. not, um, we'll have to thin the field out a little bit if we plan on getting green flag run. And speaking of green flag run, I did practice pit stops. <clears throat> Excuse me. And, uh, seems just fine. Pretty, uh, pretty simple pit road to get onto here at Auto Club, thankfully. Got a very visible braking marker, just like Xfinity. And I don't think it should be an issue, so... If we do have to do green flag pit stops, I think it'll be alright. So we're down to 10th. I guess I should have uh, should have wanted to get a better lap as a 3, but like I said, long race. And uh, it's very possible guys are going to get loose too off the start, so hopefully that'll happen behind us and not in front of us so we don't have to dodge anything. <laughs> so this is curious. This number 24 actually had the fastest time in the open practice. Um, that might have been uh, because of draft though. That's always something. You have to think about during the open practice is that uh, draft is going to mess with the fastest lap times and everything, but uh, 
they could have maybe just got loose on their lap and maybe they would be up here you know we got the 23 up here so um, yeah cart number doesn't mean too much I mean we got 13 or 31 the very highest number in the race just a couple spots back so I think it's a pretty uh it should be a pretty dis decent field I think I don't remember how many people signed up but uh I think it was a, a reasonable number. So even the 31 might still be a pretty good I rating. Hard to say. Well, we're just about ready to go here. Crew chief ready. Guess we need to make fuel calls or anything like that. Uh oh. That was the third place card. It just lost internet connection. Well, that stinks for them. Gosh, that's the worst. That might be someone that we were not going to beat, too. <laughs> so, although it's, that's hard to say, but one less person to get loose in front of us, potentially. One less person that we have to pass, potentially. Sorry, pardon my squeaky chair. I'm trying to adjust here. Well, they got back in pretty quick, though. I mean, they're still going to miss the start, but uh, a couple cautions, a couple lucky dogs or wave arounds, and they're going to be right back on the lead lap, so they're... Uh, that's, that's not uh, too bad for them. In the outside column. Since they were able to get back in pretty quick, it looks like. <clears throat> One to go. Next time by. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed right now. We've got a, an iRacing scheme on pole. We've got a Dale Earnhardt scheme, a couple uh, spots ahead of us. And I'm just running my uh, standard Cracker Barrel <laughs> scheme. changed into this season. 60 laps. Shouldn't be too long for an open race. But plenty long enough to be patient, so Get ready. hopefully everyone ready. will be. Here we go, carry off. Green flag, green flag. Oh my gosh, someone did not go. Inside. Blocking that off, they better not even think about going on the outside. <laughs> Too enthusiastic about the idea of getting a... Oh, this guy's loose in front of me. Oh my god. Oh. Car outside. Not too enthusiastic about the idea of going three wide or after start. Go low. Take it real easy here because I know it's going to be loose. Clear outside. So I let off the gas pretty good there. Oh no, we got two guys getting loose. Don't know if we're correct and kill me. There's nothing I can do right now. Oh god. <laughs> two people simultaneously getting loose. Oh, we're probably four. There's gonna be a wreck with how the guys are uh, getting loose, probably. There's no way all 31 people don't crash. They're getting that loose. 
I would be very surprised anyway. Happy staying in line if that's what it comes to here. I'm just getting to this draft, I'll be pretty happy. There's a caution. They want you in single file. Closed, pit road is closed. Thought we were safe, but nope. We Pace car still is out. Line up single file. Still hit it. Car number five. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Ten point nine gallons. Not even close with fuel, so uh, even if we get a, a rash of cautions or anything, it's not like we're gonna make it. So. And then if we get a bunch of cautions, then it will be in for tires anyway, so. Not this time, though. No tires this time. Look how early it is. So we did move forward a couple spots, just uh, getting by guys that got loose and all that. Um, pass some guys just by keeping it steady, for no other reason. So I wasn't really trying to pass, just trying to keep it steady early on. Alright, right, so we'll be on the inside this time. I'm gonna have to keep that in mind because it will be uh, looser on the lower side of the track. So I'm gonna have to make sure I'm not the next guy getting sideways. And then there's that guy that's uh, disconnected getting his uh, lap back. Is, is, is he one lap down? Multiple? Just one lap down, so it looks like he's going to get his one lap back, and it'll be uh, just like he qualified last or something. So he'll be back in it before too long. He'll be alright. Kind of a partly cloudy day here in California. I thought this was a simulator. That's not realistic. You don't get clouds in California. Sheesh, I racing. Get it together. We're under caution. It's closed. <clears throat> Hopefully we can avoid any long discussions about setups in this race. It seems like every open race I do, there's like a long discussion about setups that segues into talking about, uh, oh, they're so fast in this setup from blankety blankety blank. One to go. Next time by, you'll be lining up on the <laughs> inside. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. I'm sure this person realizes that uh, they are on the outside. And now they do. Hang on, we're not going green. Ah, oh, what are we doing? Green. Why are we not going green? Not going green. Not going green. Who's done it? Who has done this? This pack is too big to be going around with delayed greens. At least we go and get to go a highway speed 70 miles an hour. Makes it not too bad, I guess, but. Ah, uh, I feel like we could undelay this thing just by right now. I feel like we could be like, okay, we're good. Go ahead and go green. But now we're waiting on someone, apparently. <clears throat> Can't imagine what it would be. Someone stopped on the track or something, I don't know. Now we got to do a whole other circuit. Thanks a bunch. 
10.2 gallons. This is only going to cool the tires off a little bit more, even. So, I have to keep that in mind. It'll be much cooler now. It's also cloudy. The sun's not hitting the track. Over here. That's gonna make the tires okay, cooler. Next time by. So, uh, you're gonna have to be aware of all that. You're gonna be aware that it's, even though we did a couple laps, probably still gonna be slippery. Especially down here. So, just keeping, uh, keeping note of all the factors that play in here so I can be prepared and know how to take the corner. Know that I probably cannot. Just uh, go crazy with it. <laughs> maybe the maybe the first corner, because we're not up to speed yet. But you know, just gotta be aware and uh, watch out for it. All right, no delayed green this time. Thankfully, let's get going. Hopefully, get a better start than last time, where someone didn't go or something. Strike so big. About to go green, <laughs> stay focused. The pace car is off, be ready. Green flag, green flag. Green flag. Felt like the guy slowed down, but that might have just been us compacting. We actually are going to get the uh, higher line here. So I'll go ahead and take that. Car outside. Okay, Stay low. There's the car on the right side. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. Pretty close to me. Clear. And he backs off. Come on up here. So I just uh, lifted a tiny bit. We were able to get higher up the track, so we were a little better off than we would have been stuck on the low side. Car outside. And this guy's inside, and I don't even want to be. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Just taking the line I wanted. Clear outside if you want it. being real slow on an uh, exit, they're probably saving tires by doing that, I guess. I can imagine it must be intentional. I really don't want these guys behind me to catch up though and start putting us three wide, so I know how that goes. Kind of the line you want to take in a fix the setup, so that's what I'm going to do up here. Too much more. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Outside is clear. Car outside. Stay low. Clear. Gonna have. I just didn't like how slow he was on exit. He'll probably fly past us later with better tires, but uh I kinda wanna be on the throttle on exit to be honest, because it'll get that right rear a little bit more potentially, so. Now you're in bid. 
Man, that outside lane is working. Yeah, outside lane's working now. I'd be worried it would take out uh, take out the tires though. I want him to take away my uh, pump drafting me. Outside. Still there. Stay low. He wants to go now? He can go now. As much as I want to run the high line, you know I want to run the high line. I just don't think it's good for a long run. I could be very wrong. Especially, maybe he's got a setup that's meant for it. That was their speed flying up in front of me. V6, that was a 41.8. You got loose there a little bit. I'm liking this OSR setup. It's feeling pretty good. This allows me to do what I need to do. This 13 is being a little aggressive with the bomb drafting. Uh, believe it or not, we're not at Daytona, even though it kind of feels like it. Look into the left whenever I'm trying to take my line. And stay aware of where he is. Is he gonna take a three wide? Just thinking about it. Alright. Closed up. Hopefully this uh, enter high, exit low kind of thing is going to work out for me. Not quite sure how it'll end up looking later in the run, but well, there's only one way to find out, and that's by doing it. it worked in fixed race. He wants to go get the lead. And he's overdriving it so hard. I'm not really concerned that we're going to finish behind him at any point. I could be completely wrong. Maybe, he, maybe he's got a really loose setup and he's going to be able to control that right rear, but... Oh man, he's making me worried. He's driving Not all over the place. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Didn't want to get on the inside of the two there. It just kind of happened.
very much enjoying this long green flag run here. Lots of guys behaving themselves. Tough to get 31 people to not crash into each other. Uh, we're doing it. We only had the one caution so far. Apron a tiny bit there, but fine. Set me off uh, off angle a little bit. That's up that corner, but I'll be uh, right back up there in the draft. Not too long. I'm still here. Guys taking that outside line now behind us. Lifting on entry, so might uh, close in on us fast on uh, entry of the corner. The mid corner they'll be gone because uh, I'm cutting down lower. Hopefully this will be okay, better for the long run than that would be. Slugging laps at this point though. Hmm, I have Abert again, I need to stop doing that. I'm just trying to get as close to the white line as possible and I keep uh, crossing it a little bit much. This 13 is a big mess, man. He's constantly... Hi, hi. That one's going for it. He got that run because of the high line. So we're taking the high line this turn. Goes. It's fine by me. Too much longer, we have to worry about uh, green flag pit stops. Got enough fuel to go for a while longer, but just to the halfway point. Oh, that's about. Got the blues engine. That could be a caution right there. Can't make it back. It doesn't alt tab or anything. That would be a shame. Stop on the track. Was there an actual caution? Yeah, they're about three laps to go. My tires were finally shot, so I'm actually kind of happy that caution came out. Yeah, I was, I was with you. I um, was trying to fall back to myself. Yep, there's your cause. Thanks. The race is over if your engine blows anyway. Yeah, I was getting ready to pit and make them lap. That changes everything. If you blow your engine, you're done for the race. You're not going to get it fixed. Before the thing's over. So instead of stopping on the track and causing a caution for everyone, just all tab out. If you can't make it back to the pits, it's my suggestion. Let's 
So, pit stops. Let's right, not mess this up. Pits are open. Pit lane speed limit is 55 miles per hour. The leader, Lemke, is pitting. We'll need to stop again. Box in, five, four, three, two, one. Box now. A little easy in there because I couldn't see very well, but not too bad. I actually practiced how much I could get away with go, go, go. revving. Man, I can't get back on the game. I don't think I made a difference. At least I didn't spin my tires a whole bunch and lose spots. Guys, right, we're at 91.91. That's awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep what I'm doing. What I'm doing then. Is uh, say okay by me. It's fine. You got loads. It's fine. You got loads. We should be good on fuel. Nice. We're going to the end then, unless uh, we get a caution and we need tires. Do we have anyone stay out? I don't think so. That six was up there already, I believe. It's are open. You got plenty of fuel. Plenty of fuel, but that guy's trying to bait people into thinking they need to get more or something, I guess. Maybe he's just running low out on the track, I don't know. Well, I hope the racing's just as clean. Second half of the race. It's very good so far. One to go. Next time We're actually on the outside. Get ready. Race the regime at the end of this lap. Because we're in sixth. I guess we gained a spot on pit road. If someone got a penalty here. I know it's that 13. They were ahead of us. Oh god, the 13's behind us now. Oh god. Oh boy. That's not making me feel too good. We're gonna get a lot of people loose here because they got used to driving how you can drive on the on the worn in tires. Up the temperature tires. So you always get people like, all right, back at it. And then they start driving like they were before, and then suddenly they're sideways. You could easily see it happening. So we'll have to keep an eye out for that. It's a nice scheme ahead of us. Dutch Bros coffee, I like the colors. It's very clean. Get ready, going green. Right. <laughs> Let's pay attention to the leader instead. In their boring white car. Truck. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Get back in the Good start. Got it. You're in fourth position. Count it not hard. That was surprising. I was ready for it. 
to get in the back of someone. The yellow flag is out. There it is. Line up. Got loose on the cold tires, I guarantee you. That's a nice handful of spots I just grabbed, too. Well, it's two, but <laughs> I guess plus the one on pit road. And we got to stay behind the good-looking truck, so... All right. <laughs> okay, Colton, halfway home. We've got plenty of fuel. Got to warm my tires off during the pace laps. <laughs> and that's no need for that. Catch up to car. Got loads of fuel. Pit road's open. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Yeah, uh, we'll be on the outside again this time too. That's good stuff. I much prefer the outside on the restarts, just so I can feel more stable. Looking some laps off too. Coming up on halfway here. Hmm. Pit road is closed. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Car 18. Got the lucky oh. dog. Let them pass on the outside. Is 18 the one that was. Mm. No, he wasn't the one that was disconnected at the start, was he? Wonder where that guy ended up. Left us eighteen. Carbine. Mm -hmm. They look like they must have gotten in a wreck, maybe. Twenty second, because apparently they're pretty fast. Unless track position matters so much more than I think. I have, I did think about that, like getting past some guys. Now on the restarts. So that way I'm fighting a defensive war instead of an offensive war. But, I don't know. I don't want to tear the tires off, either. I'm happy with the way I did it there. I felt like I uh, still kept it steady, didn't overdrive it, and I still picked up a couple spots. So. Out. Pits are closed. Hey, if it's not broke, I will not fix it. Still uh, nowhere near getting any tire spin. We're gonna be launching off from like 5,000 RPM. So. You're on the outside this time. Race cars coming in this lap. All right, we're closer than the leader to the leader than we ever have been. Very good place to start and get a launch. So you get a good view. Daisical tire warming the one just did reminded me that we still will have cold tires Good to know Finder, thank you number one We've got like the Ford insignia like right in the middle of the a by racing Back there Kind of bothering me. I don't think it should bother me. But it kind of does especially because I have Ford right below it got a tundra just like the number six up there but I have no to allegiance green. to any of them I, just, I just pick one to be honest with you it's 
solid start, looks like. I win. Man, that sounds bright. I missed when uh, California had clouds for some reason. Harrison was just trying to help us. I apologize for criticizing your accuracy. Hi, Racing. You were just trying to help us out. The sun. Now y'all go inside. What the hell? Oh, on the exit of the Oh, hey, it's the Dale Earnhardt car that was getting loose on lap one. That was a close one. Well, at least we're in front of it. Oh, man, that was apparently a pretty decent one. There's a couple people on pit road. Can we catch you with a base car? I'm not pitting here. We have not done enough green lamps to justify that. Thank you. Especially after that whole long run at the start, we were still at 91. Catch Fine. Two. Yeah. I'm just holding the clutch for fun. I'm not trying to save fuel. Pit road is now open. Pits are open. If anything, I should be burning fuel off, make this thing lighter, but... <laughs> Just giving my feet something to do while we're pacing. Hmm. Nope. You go ahead. They're apparently wrecking back there, so... I don't know about that move. If it works out for him, he can point and laugh as he drives by, but I don't know about that one. We're under caution. Pits are closed. I faked him out a little bit, I'm not going to lie. I, I uh, pointed my truck down there as if I were going to come to, so that way he didn't uh, chicken out, seeing no one else was following him. Once he was in the grass area, went back on out, because we just got a free position. these tires were more worn at the end of that first run, then maybe I would consider it even though we only did a couple laps. But going like 20-something laps and only losing 9% on the rights and uh, wearing evenly, I'm okay with staying out here. Because if it goes green to the end, you still have a whole buttload of people to pass. You still I was have to... More go if that's one. You still have to uh, excited, avoid people that might be getting loose because they are apparently ready. Right outside here. line, but then one went in the pit. We're under caution. Pits are closed. And then if we get cautions at the end, you're not going to have very much time to pit, uh, to uh, make passes anyway. I'll be back. That's just a lot of people to pass. I feel like. Good luck. The 
I just uh, have been enjoying being in front of these guys when they're wrecking, not behind them. So. Get ready. Race and resume at the end of this lap. That guy comes up and passes us and gets the win. Then good for him. He rolled the dice and got himself a pair of sixes. I just know that I would roll the dice and they would fall off the table and someone would slip on them and I'd get sued. So. I'm not rolling those dice. I'll keep my fuzzy dice <laughs> on my uh, rear rear mirror dangling there. Can't slip on those. What am I talking about? These long <laughs> caution periods are driving me insane. I'm losing my mind. thing is too like he'll have those fresh tires but when he's passing people they're gonna even out a little bit more I would think I don't know I just feel like that wasn't wasn't quite the move but he is the number one so maybe he knows something I don't get ready going green Pied car is off Alright, start. <laughs> car outside. Stay oh. low. There is a car on the high side. Big time. Keep low. Outside is clear. <laughs> I swear I'm not even trying to pass this guy, I'm just, that's, I exit lower, that's just where I exit. Go low. Back in third, keep hustling. Still there, hold your line. The next car's the leader. Clear. I guess we're in second now. This is trying to break the draft. I will go ahead and follow him if he's not going to... Try any harder than that. Oh man, you almost undid it. At uh, even right sides the end of that last run, so apparently what I'm doing is uh, just fine, aside from the fact I hit the apron just then. It could be I'm um, just wearing both instead of, <laughs> you know, not wearing them as much in general, but... Is what it is. We'll be following this draft, though. <laughs> I normally don't bother too much, but this track is big enough to kind of need to. Car outside. Outside is clear. Looks like he wants to get by. Have the outside on us here, I guess. Car outside, quick. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Keep low. I'm barely keeping it on pit exit. Still there. I'm not going to cut this guy off.
you though. I have to be able to see where they are. Example there. Need to know he was on my outside. He's got blocked aggressively. Still wasn't even trying to get alongside him. Just taking my normal line. I undergrove that a little bit by accident. It's turning just fine. Uh, whatever. Getting that massive run off the high side, but uh, hoping theirs will be happier at the end than theirs where it will be. Not too much longer to go. Like it's a good sign if your normal line is almost allowing you to pass people though. Fantastic. I was getting tight there, so P6. Oh my gosh, this one's kind of wiggly. He's the guy with the new tires. Seem all that much faster than us, though. It's by taking three wide. Got ten left to go. Inside. Clear. Pick the high line this time. Inside. Stay high. Clear. Car inside. You're in the middle. Three wide. Car outside. Steer wide. Inside. Two wide. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Ooh. Well. <laughs> Good thing I have decent reaction time.
Just running that high line once though makes my uh, made my truck feel a lot tighter. I'll tell you that. I sure wish I uh, didn't catch that lap car in the worst possible spot. Thing was, I knew that the guy racing me was above me. I knew he was approaching that other truck, and I knew he was going to have to go around the left side of that truck, and so I couldn't merge up like I was normally going to, so I had to let off. Just uh, had to think a couple steps ahead of what was going to happen there. It ruined my corner, lost me a couple spots, but I'm still in it and I have no damage. So far, we're green to the end, so this one scamble's paying off. He rolled one six, can he roll the other? Man, I'm talking like we're at Vegas, we're at Auto Club. <laughs> I think Vegas is next week, isn't it? Okay. side by side. I would be working together trying to catch the leader if I were them, but I'm seeing out of them right now. Oh gosh, that's the tightest I've felt the truck yet. Wow. There you go. There you go. You're inside. You're inside. Doing side. Doing side. Clear inside. Virus. It's fine. Apparently he's got better tires right now anyway. We'll just push him. You've been a minute the whole race to me. God damn it. Your team's Good calling turn. someone else a menace. Kettle, black, etc. Be good for a top five though, as long as these tires don't fall off any harder. Levin's kind of back there, but behind him, there's lots of room. Right now, I think we we should be able to keep in front of him. More laps to go. All I want for Christmas is no green, white checkered. So we can get that. Happy. They're fighting hard up there, though. They could end up being the caution. The driver in front of us is each other. Oh, he's getting sideways. I'm getting really tight. That stinks for that six, because he was in the lead for a while. I just gotta try to hold on to top five now. So my tires are a little bit too worn. Go. Go. Two laps left. Let's see a bunch of green here now that I'm not tight on exit. Although I still actually was there a little bit. This thing's about to fall off a cliff and I'm scared. So we need it to last one more lap. It's 
like the number one is running away with it now. He's got fresher tires than everybody. One Unless the uh, guy in second makes a really aggressive dive. Probably takes them both out. I think the one's got this. And I hold on to the top five. Gonna have a run on me here. Just don't overdrive it, I think we're okay. Okay, you can't catch me. Call on the tires, man. Yeah, that was great racing, guys, and again, good call. That was a good win. Good race, everyone. Wish the call worked. It would have worked out for me. Solid work. Thank you. Yeah, he got them double sixes. <laughs> Didn't have anyone crash in front of him that he couldn't avoid. Made it past guys without wearing his tires off too much. He got it done. Oh man, number one, there was not enough space for me on the outside. Good race there, man. Sorry, I didn't have a button that on my wheel. I forget a little bit there, but good one. Good one. If I got beef or something, it sounded like. Yeah, there's not enough room. Might be referring to when he hit the wall. So we did push a little harder that second run, 83-87 instead of 91-91. It was a longer run, so that explains the lower numbers, but me pushing too hard is what explains the right front being lower than the right rear. So uh, that's what caused me to fall off a little bit and maybe was out of contention at the end there. But uh, we still pulled off the top five, very happy with that. Zero X top five in a truck race. Uh, didn't get a 10 X, that's good. And, uh, all right, that was good stuff. Let's watch the incidents. There we go. Here's that start. Oh, <laughs> and it was the number 13 as well. That didn't hit the gas. That's funny. All right, here we go. There's all those guys getting loose. Appreciate them for not uh, overcorrecting. So those guys must be on a team. They have the same scheme. 23 and 31. We got that uh, cotton candy looking truck. Where's this 18 going? Yikes. Bet they feel cool making a dangerous move on lap 2. Sixteen gets loose again, and it's the eighteen being aggressive that gets into the back of him. I feel like there was a sequence of events that you could have added up to come to this conclusion. Sixteen getting loose plus eighteen being aggressive equals that accident. See him there. Here's a restart. Is the sixteen going to get hit or hit someone? It is the twenty-two that is going to run into the back of him. Twenty-one cuts in front of the twenty-six, and the twenty-six says, "Nope, not gonna turn to the left, not gonna lift, just gonna run in the back of you." Cause I'm Jimmy Johnson. So the fourteen, for whatever reason, reacts to the truck sliding in front of him. He would have been fine. It was it was cut close, but he could have just taken his normal line. But it looked like he just. Uh, Turns right just a tiny bit, maybe, and it messed up his angle. I don't know what's happening here. Is this under caution? It must be right. He must have been looking at something. Now, this is green. Why is this guy so off pace? Ben, he drove himself into the wall. I would say it's nothing to do with that. Yeah, man, I took you there. That's my point, sorry. For blaming you. Absolutely my fault. Oh, okay, so the five actually took responsibility. Alright, I'm gonna take a picture, I gave you group two. 
Yeah, from where I was sitting, it looked like he just got in the wall himself. But, uh... Yeah. You're right. It was good of him to uh, admit that he was wrong once he looked at it. Yeah, good win. See you next time. Bye. That was a very nice conclusion to that slight bit of beef. <laughs> just T is in the wall. See if Mary jumps out and pretends to hit that truck. It's a little bit loud for me. And uh, this guy just misses the entrance, I think. He might have been looking at that truck, or... I don't know, he just didn't turn in. That was kind of weird. Oh, he's coming down off the wall and running into that poor guy. This was me at... Uh, Nashville Super Speedway in my first dark attempt. Going through the grass. This guy must have messed something up real bad with the setup or something, because he is plowing hard on these corners. How's he taking them? It doesn't seem like too crazy. He might just be pushing way too harder. I don't know. It's odd. He's at 13, who has been really aggressive at this point in the race. He's kind of just like squirrely all over the straightaways and everything, and he's bump drafting, and... I'm glad that they didn't end up being a wreck taking out a bunch of people up front, because... He's being a little over the top. In my opinion, you know, maybe if he races that way, I bet he gets some wins. A handful of wins sometimes. Works out. But, uh... I don't know, man. 24 tries to cut under the guy that slide, did the slide job, and they did not uh, clear each other. There'll be some wall on entry, just a tiny itty bitty bit. Uh, I don't know about that one. Not paying attention under caution again, I guess, maybe. And when setup's doing nothing, I guess. Place Nick lovingly refers to as Paderek. <laughs> Ooh, that's some looseness, causing him to chase it up. Oh, we got some more dual spinning. Oh my god, that was. Oh, we'll get to that in a moment. So that guy spins out of sim or gets loose out of sympathy, and then wow, absolutely terrible overcorrect. He gets loose here, and I feel like he should be fine. Like, yeah, it looks like he saves it. He saves it. You just gotta let off the gas for a second here and ease back onto it, but it looks like he slams the gas or something. Oh, Dale Earnhardt got it real bad. Twice. And then this is the lap car that, the lap truck that screwed us over later. That stinks. Wrong place for that guy to be. That's an expired engine from the damage. This guy's just driving under caution, don't know why we're seeing it. Oh my gosh, that's four wide. And this guy decides not to uh, turn for the corner, and that, is, that guy has nowhere to go. And uh, here we have the chain reaction. This was a big one. Well, big-ish. A couple of guys. Oh my god, the 30 didn't slow down at all. He could have easily avoided. Look how far back he is. See him wrecking right there. Just slow down. The caution's going to come out. Instead, he tries to daze of thunder it. And bam, right in the driver's side door. Twisted T's dead. Well, he killed a man. Are you happy? Well, no. Yes. <laughs> 26 scared him up into the wall. Wasn't gonna hit the wall, and then he and then he did. Dean's got no turn in it. Got a little bit uh, off kilter. Well, lots of these guys back here are bump drafting. You'll notice most of the people up front aren't doing that. It's not really necessary. It's gonna cause more problems than it's worth.
Hmm. Interesting. Eight might have been looking at the guy behind him and missed the wall. Missed the turn in. Got into the wall. Definitely didn't miss the wall. I keep seeing this guy's uh, scheme, and I think that's Circuit City on the back. But it's whatever Lucky Strike is. <laughs> it looks like Circuit City. It's too bad, because they need the advertising. Here's me. Oh, this is when the five gets in the wall. Yeah, that wasn't on the one at all. He had plenty of room. He might have been looking at the one. How close he was, but... And there, I had to make that quick decision. I was basically in a box here. I see him at the wall, I'm like, whoop! You'll notice my little lift off. <laughs> see him at the wall, whoop! Alright, this is the line I'm taking this corner, then. Had to make an adjustment quickly. Kind of like my Pocono race in Arca. I didn't make the adjustment well enough, or quick enough. When I had the guy below me, but there I was able to figure it out. 29's got the brake bias too low or something. Or just hits the brakes too hard. Does this cause a caution? No, we're good. I was like, that's a really stinky caution if that's causing if that cause a caution. Everything is great, including the wall. 27 doesn't have enough grip to keep below the 13. Mayonnaise. Into the wall. That's not the first time he's done that. That's too bad. He was running pretty well, too, I think. Very tight truck. Into the wall. You can see it's flat 59, so the, this is the worst the tires have been all race, so we'll probably get these and then a couple more, maybe even. Unless we ran out of time for people to hit the wall. We ran out of, we ran out of time, so everyone else uh, kept it off. So that's the race. We got ourselves a P5 after starting 10th and uh, kept it clean. It was fun stuff. That was pretty good racing, actually. Um, I enjoy these tracks where you have to do a little bit of lifting. It wasn't too much, but you do have to do a little bit of lifting if you want to make it to the end on tires and, uh, you know, be a little bit of patient. And I'm happy with how it turned out. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I did. I enjoyed the race. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.